Welcome to our resource, Preparation for Prescribing, Medicines Management and Applied Pharmacology. The course has been developed by an established collaborative group of non-medical prescribing programme leaders and university academics who have a clear understanding of learning needs of health and social care professionals who are required on registration to be suitably prepared to undertake CPD programmes in prescribing practice, consultation skills, applied pharmacology and medicines management. The aim of this programme is to support your learning in the development of your knowledge, skills and competence in the study of pharmacology and the application of fundamental concepts related to medicines management in health and social care settings. The content of the resource reflects the standards and professional expectations laid down by professional regulatory bodies so that you are suitably prepared to engage in further study following registration. For example, the Nursing and Midwifery Council, the Health and Care Professionals Council and General Pharmaceutical Council. The content also reflects the competencies published by the Royal Pharmaceutical Society 2016, a competency framework for all prescribers. Medicines management is fundamentally concerned with the safe and therapeutic use of medicines in healthcare for practice. As a student, you will need to develop your knowledge and understanding of pharmacological concepts, relevant legislation, your scope of practice with respect to the preparation and administration of drugs, the monitoring of drugs efficiency and safety, along with the role of professional in best practice with respect to medicines management. It is envisaged your university leads will guide you through resource and advise you how you might engage with the materials to supplement your learning and development during your pre-registration programme. The aim of the resource is to provide you with fundamental knowledge to support your learning and development of medicines management in readiness professional registration, to direct your, you to key tasks and resources to develop a deeper understanding of medicines management, to facilitate self-assessment and reflection of your learning and development of key concepts and support your revision and encourage ongoing learning related to medicines management. It is important that students use the resource to complement their practice experience and engage with the practice assessor and or supervisors to embed the theoretical learning into supported practice exposure. So how to get access. Your university tutors will arrange for an account to be set up for you. A link will arrive in your university email inbox from support at hecooperative.uk. You may need to check your junk or spam files. You will be prompted to create a new password. Please keep a note of it. However, it, might be it, it, however, it is very easy to set a new password. Simply go into the login area and click on reset password. If for some reason you forget how to find the login pages, type into Google Health VLE and the HE Co-op domain for logging in will appear high up on the list, usually number one in the search engine. For general access to the resource or help with setting up your account, please email support at hecooperative.co.uk. Now we will take a quick look at how to use the resource once you've got logged in. The resource is split into three parts. The same subject appears in all three parts. Part one provides an introduction to the topic. Part two builds on the initial introduction and adds more detail. Part three provides more in-depth coverage of the topic and assumes understanding and knowledge in parts one and two. Your tutors will guide you through what sections of the resource to access in general. Year 1 students will be directed to access parts 1 and so forth. You can use the map function once you are logged in. This gives you a full list of all of the sections and resources nestled within them 
The map view also lets you see which sections you have completed and which you have yet to read. The ones on the example are green that have been read and have been completed. The ones in blue are resources that you have yet to complete. So once you have completed the resource you will see the title in green with a tick. This indicates that you've been in and have read that particular aspect of the resource. When you are in the resource you will see there is a complete and go to next button. When you click on this the system records that you have read and completed this page. All completed resources titles will change to green to indicate that you have been in. You can still revisit pages you have been in and marked as complete. Each section also has a quiz at the end of it. This helps to test your knowledge and understanding of the section that you have just read. You can take this quiz as many times as you like. If you complete part 1, part 2 or part 3 of the resource then you will be able to access a completion receipt for that section. This is on the login page. Your tutor may ask you to provide evidence you have completed a section through this route. Simply click on download and this brings up a PDF of the section that you have completed. Final notes. We hope you enjoy using this resource. But please note your progress through the resource is tracked and may be accessed by your tutors. Please read our privacy statement online at hecooperative.co.uk. Please feel free to access our technical support at any time. We have a submit an issue button and a give feedback button. Please make sure that if you want a response to use the submit an issue button. Give feedback is a way of providing anonymous feedback to us which won't be tracked against your login. And finally we hope you enjoy your studies at Manchester Met and we hope that you enjoy using the resource provided by the Health and Education Cooperative. <laughs>